Hello and thank you so much for joining me for Quick Technique Wednesday where I'm going to bring you a technique that you may or may not have seen before and I'm going to share it with you in a matter of minutes so that you can get some inspiration and be reminded of what you can do with your products in your stash. Today we're focusing on using embossing folders and we're going to make them really pop off your card. The first method to me is like the basic method. So we're gonna take some ink and we are going to run it over the top of our embossed panel. So it's obviously got lots of raised edges. This technique works great with any embossing folder. It doesn't need to be 3D, it can be just basic. You're gonna ink up a sponge dauber and very, very, very gently, you're going to apply that ink along the top of the surface of the card. So I am going in a circular motion and just very lightly kind of dusting it on. You don't wanna to go too heavy handed, otherwise you will start to fill in the background as well. And then it will just look like a colored panel rather than making the embossed images pop up off the card. So here you can see the difference. On the right is with the gentle motion over the top with some ink and on the left is the original without any ink on it. Now another way to jazz up our embossing folder uh, look on our card panels is to use a paste. So I have got this pearlescent paste from Lisa Horton Crafts. Any paste will do if it's got a bit of shine and shimmer to it. And the nice thing about using pastes that have mica powder in them is that you can apply them to dark cardstock. You can also take oxide inks like the ones I was using in the previous shot and you can go ahead and use oxide inks on dark cardstock that will pop off as well. So again I'm using a very light hand and I'm very gently kind of rolling over the top in a circular motion on my embossed cardstock and then you can start to really see that shine pop off of the card. So again you want to try and go as even as you can. If you don't go as even as you can it gets a little bit blotchy but at the same time it doesn't really matter. It gives you a really cool look either way. So there on the left is plain and on the right is when I've added some, some shimmer paste to the top. Now, if you want to mix it up even more, you can double up on your inks. You could even triple if you were to start with colored cardstock. I'm starting with a lighter color. I'm going with the picked raspberry color first, and again, doing the same thing, a nice gentle roll over the top of the surface. And then I'm gonna come in with a darker color. And I've chosen to do a darker color so that it pops off a bit more and it doesn't kind of give me a muddy look if I end up combining the two. So I'm coming in with the purple, which is the Seedless Preserves um, in the Distress Oxide. And for this layer, I'm going to use a brayer. The brayer ensures that you get a nice, even spread of color over the whole panel so that you're not ending up going in any of those creases or grooves. And then you can see more of the dimensional layers going on. So you can see the white and the very cr kind of crisscross in the middle, then you got the pink surrounding it, and then you got the purple over the top. It's another version just to give you a better idea of how it looks. I'm going a bit heavier handed this time. This is, again is another 3D embossing folder, so you've got multiple kind of layers going on within your cardstock, and I'm making sure I'm hitting all those layers. So there on the left is the original one I did, on the right is where I went a bit heavier handed. And now I'm going to take black and use my brayer and go over the top in black to kind of make those layers pop. Now I do catch the edges with my brayer so you can see there's a bit of black mess on the top and the bottom but it's fine because this will be trimmed down to go on the front of a card and it won't matter that those edges are a bit messy. But here you can see that beautiful 3D embossing folder and how that black top layer really stands out from the rest. You get your white in there and your blue still showing as well. So these are three fun ways that you can use embossing folders and jazz them up a little bit. Hope you enjoyed today's quick technique and I look forward to seeing you again on Saturday. Take care and have a great week. Bye.